Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on frames. In this video I'd like to show you how you can use the layer functionality. So here we are on a default patch. As I explained in the previous video, we have two sections where which can show two layers, the top one and the bottom one here. So we have four layers between from one, two, three and four. Okay. Now for the purpose of the tutorial, let's load a waveform. So let's select the first uh, layer here. And let's click this button which is pointing down, which is for loading. And then let's click on ARP lead. Uh, by the way, if you click on uh, this icon for uh, headphones, you can also um, preview the sound. Okay, perfect. Let's click on load now here. Now that waveform has been loaded into layer number one and you can see the waveform here because I have selected to show the waveform on the top. At the bottom of uh, um, the screen here, um, still in the middle but in the second section and the second layer, I'm still showing layer number one but I'm showing the control or con a control view or the controls of uh, layer number one. Indeed, if I select the waveform here for the second section, you can see the same waveform that you can see at the top here. And this is useful <coughs> because you can decide to see different settings and change different parameters for the same layer, in this case, layer number one. <coughs> now, let's move to layer number two. As I click on that, um, you can see that the changes have not happened on the second section, it's still uh, on this layer number one. And that is because I have this lock um, uh, button which is unselected. So if I say click on it, on, on it, which is, it establishes a link or a lock, which means that every time I change a layer <coughs> on either the top or uh, bottom section, and the two will be synchronized. So at the moment I'm showing the layer number one on the top and layer number one on uh, the bottom. If I choose layer number two there, it will change also the bottom to layer number two. So when this button is enabled, the two sections will show exactly the same layers. So you can now see different layers, uh, but you can see different settings as I just explained in a moment for the same layers. If of course this is not what you want, then unclick that button and unlock the two layer section. In this case, you can then change as you like. So for example, on the top, we are seeing the waveform for layer number one. <coughs> and on the, set, on the bottom, we are seeing layer number two, where I have not loaded a waveform. Now, to show again this working, let's click on uh, uh, the button to load the waveform. Let's choose Base Pulsar. Let's click load, and as you can see now, you can see two waveforms at the top of the waveform for uh, layer number one, and at the bottom, the waveform for layer number two. <coughs> now, let's uh, again explore other two uh, function copy and paste for the layer uh, functionality. So, let's say that I go to layer number three, <coughs> and in this, I load again the pulsar, the base pulsar. So layer number three now will have the same waveform as layer number two. Now let's show the control on layer number three at the top and also let's show the control for layer number two at the bottom. Again, they are identical, okay? But let's now for a moment uh, change the density of layer number two down to uh, zero. So at the moment you see that the density is different for layer number three. Now, <coughs> If I copy here um, for layer number three, then you can see the, the color on paste has changed. So I can go to layer number two and click paste. And as you can see, look at the density for layer number three here is not zero and for layer number two is zero. So if I click paste on layer number two, you can see the settings have changed to exactly be the same as for density for layer number three. So you can use the copy and paste functionality to copy settings between one layer um, to the other, which will come very handy. So let's uh, go back to show the waveform. Uh, actually, let's uh, um, 
turn down the volume to zero for layer number three let's focus on only two um <coughs> on two uh, waveform two layers so let's go to layer number one um let's set the density down to zero okay and i'll explain these later on and actually let's lock and uh, the two so at the bottom i can see also the waveform let's uh, now uh, make sure the offset is zero where we start here and let's increase the size um <coughs> for uh, here we go and can see now uh, i'm changing the size like that let's go to layer number two and let's do the same offset uh, to zero and size to maximum to cover the entire uh, waveform and let's click play if you find that the second layer is too loud well very simply go to the controls second layer at the moment i'm locked so that will show the same layer and decrease the level here like so and if you want to see the waveform of both remember to unlink so let's select uh, uh, layer number one at the top let's see the waveform Let's select num layer number two at the bottom. Let's click waveform, and now you can see uh, the plane on both waveforms. You see only one dot at the top because under control I have set the density to zero, so it's what is called only one grain. At the bottom you saw multiple dots is because if you go under control the density is not zero, so let's set down to zero. And let's show again the waveform. Those dots are called grains because it's a granular, a granular a synthetizer or synth. Perfect. Okay, so now you know how uh, to work with layers, how to copy and paste settings between layers, and how to link one layer to uh, another layer in different sections i hope you enjoyed you found this useful and as always see you next time bye